Hi, I'm Nicole Brown, and I apologize because this is taken in my car, but um, this is my discussion for the chrysanthemums. To start off with some historical significance, this was wrote in 1937 by John Steinbeck, and I think 1937 in the United States was a very chaotic time, to be honest, because you have things like the Dust Bowl, Great Depression, World War II, all kind of surrounding this time frame. And I think for a character like Eliza, it really focused in on her character development and how she was making ends meet, or not necessarily making ends meet, but how she was doing at this time. So her husband, Henry, seemed to have like a very traditional gender role in their marriage. He was the business, well, not necessarily a businessman, but he worked. He worked with the calves, he sold steers, and he would talk to the businessmen at his house where she worked in the garden and it was probably more the homemaker, very traditional. You know, she wore the dress in the garden, very traditional for the time being. So I think that that kind of shows that they were very husband and wife as two people, not as a unit. When the tinker comes along, he's definitely flattering Eliza. He's definitely like giving her the attention that maybe she lacks from Henry. And I think that's fitting for the time as well because women probably didn't see their husbands as much as they wanted to at that time from the working. So I think Eliza is very like caught off guard by the attention that she's getting. You know, he's offering to fix her pots and pans and, you know, he shows her his dog and it's just a very like, it's, it's kind of like a, a mellow tone that's produced from her throughout this because it seems like she is happy to have that attention. When he shows interest in her chrysanthemums, she seems extremely flattered, and I think that's when she realized, like, I want, I want more attention from these flowers. Now, when she's driving down the road on her way to her date with her husband, and she sees the chrysanthemums on the side of the road, I think she feels used and betrayed by the tinker, and I think that she almost feels as though it was betrayal. You know, I said betrayed, but I think she really did feel betrayal because she had had this positive attention, positive interaction with this tinker, and then she realized he just wanted the pots that the t chrysanthemums were in. I think that Steinbeck probably had something going on in his own life at this time, and I think that definitely represents a time when he might have felt betrayed because her character development throughout this short story is really what's focused on the most, I would say. So, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks!